Hey there, Cancer, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of April 2022. We're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Cancer, please remember energies do go both ways. So I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy. Take the energies as they resonate for you since this is a general reading. Also, Cancer, please remember to stick around till the very end of this reading for a message from Spirit that really ties everything in together. Okay, what in the hell is going on here, dude? What? Okay, look. Main energy for your reading this month is the Eight of Swords. You're definitely up in your head about something. You're overthinking something. You're overanalyzing something. I don't know what your mind is doing here. But I can definitely see like a discord, like a fight between... We'll call it your desire and the logical part of your brain. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. In the recent past, you get the Six of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Sun. You're walking away. You're leaving something behind. There's definitely a separation or a break here between you and somebody else. It's almost like not only did you, you know, break... It, I can't even talk. Maybe you guys are not talking. It's, it's like you guys broke up but separated, but and you also physically moved away from them. So it's not just like, you know, like, hey, we're not talking anymore, but we're still going to work together. No, there's a physical separation and there's also like an emotional separation of like, this is over, this is done, there's a break here. And then you show me, but I'm happy, but I'm thrilled. You can't show me the sun alongside these energies. Now, it could be for some of you, you're dealing with a Leo, in which case that would make sense. I don't know what the sun is about. I need to clarify. In the current situation, you get the five of cups, the seven of cups and the star. Now you're showing me, oh man, the past, that sucked. I really regret what I did in the past. And you're looking at the choices that you made. You're like, oh, that wasn't a good choice. That wasn't a good choice. Eh. And the reason you're looking at the past is because you still have a desire to make something happen here. Again, it could be that in the recent past, you chose to walk away and detach from something. And now in the current situation, you're looking at it and you're like, I don't know if that was the best choice. And that would explain the eight of swords because you may be overthinking and overanalyzing and be like, oh man. I got to figure out, did I make a right choice? Did I make the wrong choice? And again, this could be you. This could be your person's energy that's connected to you. So take it as it resonates. In the near future, you get the Three of Cups, the Emperor, and the Knight of Wands. You definitely want to spend some time with somebody here. Now, it could be somebody in particular where you're like, hey, I want to spend time with that person. I want to be with them. Like, that's my person. Or you could just be like, you know what? I just want to have fun. I want to go and I want to be with that person and that person and that person and that person and all the people. So let's see, you're giving me really confusing energies. I, ugh, cancer. Let's go, let's, let's, let's play, as I say. Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords. I wanna see what you're overanalyzing and overthinking here. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the World. You're showing me that there was, a, uh, at some point, you made the decision. You took action towards ending something. And you felt very positively about it. This wasn't like, oh, you know, this was such a painful ending. I was devastated. I was heartbroken. You know, I couldn't sleep at night. No, you're like, hey, I ended this. It was good. The, whatever this was, I'm glad I ended it. Goodbye. Like, you're all happy about it. Um, and with the world here, I'm like, yeah, you genuinely view this as a positive ending. So why are you overthinking it? Why are you all up in your head about this? If you view it as something so positive, as something so great, like, yeah, I ended this. Yay, hooray. You know, mm, you would know. If you feel comfortable sharing in the comments, tell me. I'd love to know. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords for you in the recent past. The Six of Swords is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. There was a divine soul connection between you and somebody else here that you shared. And you're showing me that soul connection changed into something else. It shifted into something else. And it happened very, very slowly. So much so to the point that when it reached that position of, you know, 
Like, the energy that I'm getting is, like, I started dating one person. The person that I dated when I started dating them is not the person that I'm dating five years later. And it was a very slow, very gradual shift. But then one day you wake up and you're like, huh? Eh, wait a minute. You're not the same person. What's going on? It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to walk away from this. So that could be why you're like, you know, it's time for me to leave this behind. That would also make sense with the sun here. If it was a fire sign that you're dealing with, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, then I, I, I understand why the sun is there. I cannot wait to clarify that sun. Let's take a look at the five of pentacles for you in the recent past. The five of pentacles is clarified by the three of pentacles, the eight of swords, the five of wands. The eight of swords is the main energy for your reading this week. There's a partnership, a collaboration that's showing up here for you. Now, I feel like there was more to this. I don't feel like this was just a friend. I feel like you and this person kind of hung out. Something took place here. You know, there was a little bit of a little bit of romance, but it was all under the guise of a friendship, all under the guise of, hey, I just met you. You met me. We're chill. We're friends. There's no commitment here. Um, and I see your mind getting in the way. Something about this, this collaboration between you and this other person really stressed you the heck out where it's like something, there was a conflict. It created a conflict for you internally where it's like, this feels good. I want to work with this person. I want to hang out with them. I want to exchange energies with them. But there's something in here where you're like, yeah, but this is sending me up into my mind. This is something that I need to think about a lot. And that overthinking created conflict for you. And you're showing me that you decided to cut it. You decided to end it. I don't know what this is. This isn't screaming love to me yet. So this could genuinely be a partnership or a friendship between you and somebody else. Um, but it's almost like the person that you're dealing with, it's, it's, I feel like there's two energies here, but I can't, like intuitively I'm picking up that there's two energies. I don't know if that's the case though. We'll see. Let's take a look at the sun for you in the recent past. The sun is clarified by the lovers, the knight of pentacles, the queen of wands. <laughs> this connection, there's definitely a connection showing up here. Again, possibly with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Somebody that you are very attracted to. Somebody that you feel a very strong bond with. Like you look at this person and there's love. There's passion. There's emotion. There's that instant click. Um, and it brought you a lot of happiness. But for some reason, I see you slowly trying to move in their direction or move away from them. There's kind of like a, there's a lot of very intense energies, the lovers, the queen of wands, the sun, and then there's you in the middle kind of like dragging your feet. So I'm not really sure if you're being pulled in this person's direction because this is beautiful energy. Of course, you'd want to move in that direction or you're trying to drag yourself away from this energy due to this conflict that you have. Man, oof. Let's take a look at the five of cups for you in the current situation. The Five of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, which is you, and the Six of Swords. And you got the Six of Swords in the same row in the recent past. I feel like you don't really like, I'll put this nicely, you're looking back at the choice that you made to walk away from whatever the soul connection is. Whoever decided to leave here, and I feel like it's you, you're looking back at that and being like, oh man, I think I fucked up. That was not a good decision. That was not a good decision. Um, but again, you're kind of showing me, but I also don't really want to admit to myself that it wasn't a good decision. You know how sometimes we realize like something was probably not the right choice, but it's already done. Like we did it. We can't really go back on it. So we're kind of like, yeah, it sucked, but da 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 and fill in the blank, you know? So this is definitely your energy with the chariot here. Let's take a look at the seven of cups for you in the current situation. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Sun, which you got in the recent past tied up to this very passionate, loving connection that you had and you dragging yourself away from it. So the Seven of Cups, like I said, clarified by the Two of Wands, the Sun, the Four of Cups. You're kind of really confused in the current situation because it's almost like you're waiting for something to happen in this connection that you decided to walk away from. You're pretty unhappy with how things are between you and this person because I feel like there's, no, there's nothing happening between you and this person. There's a separation, both physical and emotional. And you're kind of unhappy about that because this person, this connection brought in a lot of happiness for you, a lot of love, a lot of passion. So why would you want to walk away from that energy? But you're showing me that you did. Let's take a look at the star in the current situation. The 
The star is clarified by the nine of pentacles, the three of wands, the ten of swords. You have a very intense desire for something to happen. You go from the two of wands to the three of wands, which is letting me know that you're still waiting and you're still giving yourself even more time. Usually when I see the three of wands to the two of wands, I'm like, okay, it's about to happen. Something's about to happen. They're going to take action. Now that it's the opposite, it's a two of wands to the three of wands, you're just dragging ass even more. You're taking your sweet time. You're like, you know what? I'll be fine. Let me just focus on me. Let me just focus on my stability. And then eventually this whole ending, this whole painful, difficult, you know, ending that I chose to do, by the way, um, it'll just heal. I'll heal from the past. I'll look towards the future. Brand new me. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Okay, cool. Why are you waiting then? You know, like, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for this to happen? Are you waiting for this new energy to come in? Maybe, for some of you. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups in the near future because you're waiting for something. Two more. <laughs> well, the Three of Cups is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Temperance. You're waiting to get back together with this person. You're waiting for this energy of you and them to spend time together, to reconcile, to heal all the pain and all the difficulties. You're waiting for that to take place. Now, I see you wanting to take action, and in the near future, you do finally decide, you know what? I can't keep sitting here. I can't keep waiting. I'm deciding to take action. I'm like... I need that little bit of insight. I need that little bit of like a sign from the universe or to feel like I'm clear on this. I just need that and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna reach out to this person, I'm gonna pursue them. And I need more time though. In the near future, your desire for what you want becomes clear, but you're also showing me I need more time. Like I need time to get that sign. I need time to feel like I'm super clear that this is what I actually want. And this isn't just a whim. This isn't just like a whimsical desire that I have. Let's take a look at the Emperor for you in the near future. Well, the Emperor is clarified by the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Wands. And then the more time you give yourself, eventually you're just like, you know what, what am I doing? It just makes sense for me to give up on this, to completely walk away from this. Like, what am I doing? Why am I even dealing with this? Forget emotions, forget feelings, forget reconciling, forget passion, forget all that. Let me just look at what makes sense. I'm determined to walk away from this. I want to walk away, leave this connection in the past, and I'm going to do it. I can do it. I can do it. With the Seven of Swords, though, I, uh, yeah, you're doing it, but you're not fully committing to it. If this was the Six of Swords, I'd be like, yeah, Cancer's done. Cancer's out of here. They're gone. With the Seven of Swords, it's kind of like a, I'm done now, I'm done now. Let me touch base with me tomorrow. Let me see how I feel. I mean, you do definitely decide. You're determined to like walk away from this. You're determined to give up on this connection. And it could be that that's the clarity that you needed, where you're like, you know what? I need to get clear on if this is actually what I want. And maybe you realize this isn't what I want and you're walking away. But there's still a little bit of like, look at this guy on the card. He's walking away, but he's looking back. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting from you. You're walking away, but you're kind of still looking back. Let's take a look at the Knight of Wands for you in the near future. Interesting. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. I don't feel like you're going back to this person. I feel like you have made the decision to completely walk away. Here's the thing, though. This whole thing was a learning experience for you. You learned something about yourself and you learned something about your patterns when it comes to the past. I feel like what you did here with this person is something that you've done multiple times. You have feelings for someone and then you decide to leave. Or you have feelings for someone and then you just decide to keep your options open. Or you have feelings for someone and there's a lot of back and forth. Like I'm with you, I'm without you, I'm with you, I'm away from you, I'm with you, da, 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 you know? You're, you're showing me here that you're realizing that the patterns that you've had in the past, the things you've done in the past, the separations that you've experienced in the past, you've grown from them. You've learned from them. And I feel like in the near future, it's kind of finally setting in that being all over the place, being fickle, kind of not being very um, lacking stability 
isn't really the best thing when it comes to connections because all it does is create resentment, create pain, create separation, and create regret for you. So I don't, I feel like this whole person came into your life to teach you something, to really put the cherry on top. I don't feel like you're actually going back to this connection, but I do feel like you're gaining a lot of clarity about yourself as a result of this connection. Let's close off this reading, see what the universe wants you to keep in mind. That was the King of Cups, but it didn't flip over and it didn't fall out, so I don't take it. So let's see what you need to keep in mind this month. From the universe, you get the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're stepping into a place of emotional balance. Balance within yourself, but also emotional balance between you and somebody else or just internally within yourself. I feel like up until this point, a lot of your actions did not come from a place of emotional stability, did not come from a place of emotional balance. And now you're kind of starting to step into that energy of, okay, I get it. I get what stable love feels like. <coughs> excuse me, not toxic love, not fickle love, not love with a bunch of people, what actual healthy, stable, grounded love, emotionally fulfilling love, what that actually feels like. This was a really intense reading, Cancer. Um, I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here for your weekly reading next week. Bye, Cancer.